Are you finding it difficult to enjoy movies on a bulky laptop, or are you eyeing a tablet, but working with a limited budget? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we present the top 5 tablets under $250 that are not only battery. lightweight and easy Stylish to handle, but also boast attractive features. designs. We've in taken addition. into account factors like internal storage capacity and battery life to ensure you get the best value for your money. Finding the perfect tablet can be tricky, as a good tablet should offer swift performance and a sleek, stylish build. A long-lasting battery is another crucial feature to look for in an ideal tablet. Everyone has different needs when it comes to buying a tablet, so it's important to consider your specific requirements before making a decision. Here are five of the best tablets under $250 to help you find the perfect match for your needs. The new Lenovo Tab M9 features an impressive screen size of 9 inches. This means it is big enough for comfortable use and still not too big to limit portability. It is just the perfect size to use it for your travels or out-of-office tasks. The weight and battery life will also encourage outdoor usage as it weighs only 0.8 pounds and can easily be stuffed in your backpack or purse as you step out. The Lenovo Tab M9 stands out with its very powerful battery life of 13 hours which works without the need to recharge it. When you move it outdoors, the battery life will eradicate any power issues or dependency on a power source. It features unique facial recognition like more expensive iPad Pro tablets, which is another key advantage over other similarly priced tablets. For a $250 budget, security features such as facial recognition are unheard of for most brands. Finally, on purchase, you will get a free folio to use as a temporary stand for your tablet as you write or draw on it. Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 comes with a large 10.5-inch screen with a 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution. These are good enough for most regular tasks you may need the tablet for, including Roblox gaming. It is powered by an octa-core processor and has 3 or 4 GB of RAM. This makes it powerful and capable of working without unnecessary lags, even when running multiple programs. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 is a very fairly priced tablet with great features, such as great sounding speakers and an audio jack, which are not available in more expensive Samsung tablets. This allows you to input headphones for a good sound experience. For its price range, of course, the storage space is low at 32 GB and 128 GB. To solve this, the memory is expandable using an external microSD up to 1 TB. The Lenovo M10 HD Plus is our pick for the best Android tablet under $250. It features a large 10.6-inch screen and 2000 by 1200 pixels. Overall, the Lenovo M10 is a great beginner-level tablet and packs great features for a very fair price range. It has a great 8mm thin body build quality that very closely matches the Samsung Galaxy A7 tablet. This look is sleek and professional. Additionally, it only weighs slightly under 1 pound, and combined with a very long 16 hours of battery life, it is easily portable, and you can work with it from any location with ease. Unlike older tablets, the Lenovo M10 Plus features speakers on either side of the tablet, making for a great sound experience, especially compared to most budget tablets. Cameras are also okay for this price range, with an 8-megapixel clear rear camera, and a lower resolution front camera. MediaTek Helios G80 processors and 2 to 4 GB of RAM make multitasking easy and user friendly. However, for the best experience, we recommend the 4 GB option over 2 GB. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite is a great budget pick for a Samsung tablet slightly under $170. This is a decent device for basic tasks such as reading, writing, and gaming. However, it has its limitations in terms of functionality, especially compared to its bigger, more powerful A7 predecessor. Regarding the body options, you will have a choice between a silver and white option, or a gray and black alternative. You will get a standard USB-A to USB-C cable and a standard Samsung plug. One thing to note is that this plug is slower and will charge at only 15 watts per second, which means it charges a little slowly. The basic price option gets you 32 GB of storage space and 3 GB of RAM. Just like most other Samsung tablets, you can spend a little more to get more features, such as 64 GB of memory and 4 GB of RAM. One standout feature is a durable metallic body with plastic accents at the top and bottom. This makes it strong and sturdy, especially compared to other tablets in its price range with a full plastic body, 
such as the Amazon Fire HD. The screen on the S7 Lite has an unusual 5-3 aspect ratio and 1340 x 800 pixels of resolution. It is small at 8.7 inches in size, but it is still fair for its low price range. Speakers are good and ergonomically placed on both sides, so that you do not cover them with your hands, as you watch your video on the colorful screen. 3GB and 4GB of RAM are good and match up to most laptops, but its processor will be a little slow on complex tasks because it uses an older MediaTek Helio P22T processor. Generally, most of its features are okay for a budget pick, but might prove short if you need it for complex tasks. Amazon Fire HD is a good and cheap alternative for Samsung tablets under $250. Just like the S7 Lite, it is a good pick as a budget option and will perform most tasks, but will be highly limited when it comes to complex tasks. Unlike the S7 Lite, which features a slim and sleek build, the Amazon Fire HD features a thick and bulky body that makes it uncomfortable to move around with. The screen is, however, larger at 10.1 inches and the resolution is also better at 1920x 1200 pixels in HD resolution. It has a better battery life of 13 hours and matches up to the S7 Lite when it comes to RAM processing power and storage. Just like the S7 Lite, it features the MediaTek P60T processor, which is okay for basic tasks and simple gaming, but lags on complex tasks. RAM comes in at 3 GB and 32 and 64 GB of storage space. Amazon Fire HD is an Amazon tablet and is limited in terms of Google Play programs. It is also easily compatible with Alexa. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is the best tablet you can buy for under $250. It was released as an affordable entry-level tablet for beginners, but with excellent specifications. It features a small 11-inch screen which is medium-sized for easy portability. Despite this, the screen is still of a premium level with a high 90 Hz refresh rate that allows for quick updates when using the tablet for gaming. Additionally, it has a high brightness level of 570 nits, which allows you to use it both indoors and outdoors with minimal glare and brightness issues. This tablet is not as good as an iPad Pro, but both of these specifications, the refresh rate and brightness levels, are almost as good as the more expensive iPad Pro. The iPad features 1000 nits and 120 hertz, which is not too different, but for a significantly higher price range, you will be able to view your work in rich colors and on a vivid display, thanks to the 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution, which is better than a full HD display. If you are looking for a tablet that you can use with Photoshop or for complex tasks, we recommend you choose the 8GB RAM and Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor. For streaming and basic tasks, you will have a smaller 4GB RAM option. Overall, this is a powerful tablet with great features and specifications. One limitation is that the 64GB of storage space that the tablet comes with is limited, which may be a problem if you like saving heavy files on your device. However, the storage space is expandable using an external Micrist card just like on other Samsung tablets. If you like using your tablet as a camera device, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is a great pick for both photography and video conferencing. This is made possible by a powerful 13MP rear camera for taking photos, and an 8MP front selfie camera for webcams and selfies.